Hi there, this is Dr. Malka, chiropractor, acupuncturist, and trigger point therapist. Today I'm going to discuss how to maintain general back health through basic stretches as well as back strengthening and pelvic stabilization exercises. Patients come to me with back pain that they've had on and off for decades that they've only treated with medication or a little tequila. <laughs> Big mistake. Often they have permanent dysfunction of their spine like severe arthritis and the response to self-care and treatment can be limited. So let's get started on keeping your back happy and healthy so you can focus on the real things that matter in your life and not be limited by pain. So the first exercise is to strengthen your mid-back muscles. So you're gonna put your arms like this and squeeze together as hard as you can. Make sure you're not raising the shoulders up. The shoulders need to be down and together. And this is really just an overall really good postural exercise. So when people are kind of hunched over in front of their computer, I pretty much give this to everybody. And the two muscles that you're strengthening in this position are your rhomboids and your middle trapezius. And the second exercise I'm going to give you also strengthens the mid-back, but more the lower mid-back muscles, or what we call the lower trapezius. And those are going to be rotating your arms out like this, like you're hitchhiking. Squeeze down and together. So these scapula, or these little wings, you're trying to get those in your back pocket. So this, the exercise is down and together, kind of in an oblique position. So now that I showed you strengthening exercises of the mid-back, now I'm going to show you how to strengthen your low back. So you're going to lie face down, straighten out one leg, and lift it up about two inches. No more than that. If you start lifting it up in the air, you create an arch in your low back, and that can cause strain. Then bring the leg down, bring the other leg up, and you'll hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then after this is no longer a struggle, you're gonna lift them both up together. And keep in mind, this is only gonna be brought up maybe one or two inches. And then after that one is just a piece of cake, you can then lift up your legs, keeping them straight, and then lift up your arms and your head. And again, you're only gonna do this maybe two or three inches and then hold it, maybe even for 40 seconds. We'll see how long you can hold it. Then relax down, and then lift up and hold it. So with any of these exercises, the low back exercises, you don't want to do any hyperextending because that can actually put pressure on the discs of the low back. And sometimes there's a lot of uh, gym equipment that has people do that, and you see them doing these exaggerated motions with their low back, that really needs to be avoided. So let's continue with pelvic stabilization exercises. The whole concept of pelvic stabilization exercises is to get all the muscles working together in balance. And the first one I'm going to show you is a pelvic tilt. So you'll want to Bring your belly button into your spine, so you're essentially you're tightening your stomach muscles, you tighten your buttock muscles, and you're just going to tilt your spine, pushing your low back into the table. And if you have a lot of pain, maybe this is really all you can do. Tighten the stomach, tighten the buttocks, and tilt. And then when you feel comfortable, tighten the stomach, tighten the buttocks, and come up. And you want to keep your elbows off the floor and you want to create a really nice straight plank and at any time this hurts your low back just back down so here we are at the top of the position and then as you come down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra and the buttocks is going to be the last to touch and then we'll relax, start this again. Tighten the stomach muscles, tighten the buttock, pelvic tilt, that's pushing the low back into the table or the floor, creating a flat spine, coming up first with the buttock, and then slowly bringing the spine up from the low back up to the mid back, 
and then up. And I actually call these tushy pushies. That's my cute little nickname for them. And then come down slowly, slowly. And be aware of the control. If you're jittering around in the hips, you really want to kind of lock them in. And then the buttocks is the last to drop down. Again, tighten the tummy. Tighten the buttocks. Roll the pelvis. And come up, starting with the buttocks. Squeezing that buttocks. And then up. And then you're even now. If you're at this point and you feel pretty comfortable, you then want to, with one inch, lift the right leg off the table. Now, when you do this, if the hips start dropping, then peel back and then just do the bridging exercises. But if you're stable with that, then bring up the left and then down, just an inch. And this really tests your balance. Once you feel comfortable marching back and forth with that, you can then lift the leg up, straighten the leg, hold it, bring it back, and then down. And then bring the other leg up, straighten it, bring it back, and then down. Now, if there's any pain during this, again, peel back and maybe just continue with the bridging exercises. And this really creates a weight belt where it just locks in all these muscles so they work together. And then down. So the next stabilization exercise will help to balance out the mid-back and the low back. So you're going to start on all fours. Your shoulder joint is going to be right above your wrists. And the knee is going to be right below your pelvic bone. And then you want to bring the right hand up and the left leg back. The bottom leg, the toe should be pointed just to create a little more need for the body to balance out. But this should be a straight line and the leg should be a straight line. It shouldn't be up and it shouldn't be down. The idea with stabilizing here is that everything is in alignment. And that creates challenge in the body. And then switch. Bringing the left arm up and the right leg back. You can point the toe or just drive the heel back. And again, it should be a nice straight line. And the head is just looking down. And then switch. You can hold this for 10 seconds or up to a minute. Whatever your comfort zone is. And then bring this down, left arm up in a nice alignment, right leg back. If you curl your toes under, you'll create a little more stability, but you really do want to, this is a balancing exercise, so it's better to keep the toes straight. Continuing with the stretches, I'm going to show you three. Bring your arms like a cactus, or you can bring them straight with the palms down. I'm gonna do the cactus. Bring the knee up in the air, parallel, and then across the body, and you may wanna use the opposite hand to help. And just hold it there, making sure this opposite shoulder does not raise up. And then you can even turn your head to the opposite side. And to intensify the stretch, you wanna stretch against resistance, so my hand is here and then push up towards the ceiling with your knee against your hand. And then relax down, seeing if maybe you can stretch it a little bit more. And then push up against the hand for a count of 10 seconds, and then stretch it a little bit more. And then the other side, same starting position, bring the left leg up and then across the body using the right hand to help out. And you'll notice that one side is tighter than the other. This side feels a little tighter for me. Again, as this knee goes down, you don't want to draw, bring the shoulder up. You want to keep it dropped down. Push up against the hand towards the ceiling. 10 seconds. Relax down. 
and you should be able to increase the stretch, hopefully. Push up against the hand for a count of 10 seconds. And then relax down again, stretching it a little bit further. The second stretch, and this is a stretch you'll want to use if you're in a lot of pain, because it is so gentle, is to bring the knees up to the chest. And try to really squeeze together, give your legs a nice hug and relax. You can even kind of rock back and forth. And this one you can hold for one to three, maybe even five minutes. And to make this stretch a little more intense, you'll do it on your hands and knees. And I'll show you that now. Starting on your hands and knees, you want to stretch your arms out and drop back and down. So you might be starting here, you're going to drop down. And in this position, you really want to try to tuck your pelvis and increase the stretch in that low back. And then you're going to come your final and third stretch. It's called Cobra in yoga. You're just going to be on your elbows and the pelvis needs to be all the way down on the table or your bed or the floor, wherever you're doing it. And then when you don't feel so much of a stretch here, Go ahead and go up onto your hands and stretch it more. But if you get to the point where you're doing this and the pelvis starts coming up, peel back. That pelvis needs to stay solid on the floor. And this can be held, let's say you're down here. You can just sit here and watch TV for five or 10 minutes, it's fine. We will be launching a new YouTube video every Friday at 3 p.m. and I will be available for any questions you have or suggestions for future videos. To allow me to make more videos for you in the future, please press the subscribe button, press the notification button so you don't miss a video, and press the like button and be sure to share with your friends and family.